We live in a galaxy called the Milky Way. And in our galaxy, we have about 200,000 million stars, and that's a, a conservative uh, estimate. So this image you see here is a long exposure photograph that shows the Milky Way, the galaxy that we live in. And what we're seeing is the accumulated light from millions and millions of stars, but our eyes aren't quite sensitive enough to be able to define them into individual stars. But we still see that accumulated glow. We can use telescopes to look at that accumulated light and it reveals many more stars in the band of our galaxy. So when we look up at the night sky, we are just seeing stars within our galaxy. There are a few objects we see outside of our galaxy, like the large and the small Magellanic clouds, uh, and the Andromeda galaxy, which is the furthest object visible to the unaided human eye. And where I live in the Southern Hemisphere, we still see much of the Milky Way. There are many places now, large cities, particularly in the Northern Hemisphere, that cannot see our own galaxy now. So this light pollution has caused a problem for us. Now the night sky has been interpreted in different ways by many different cultures all across our world. For example, the Ghana Aboriginal people from the Adelaide Plains call it Wadlipuri. And they see this band of light as a river in the sky world. In fact, Wadli means hut or home or house and Puri means river. And this is just one of many ways that our galaxy, the Milky Way, uh, is seen by various cultures uh, from around the world.